Okay, channel, welcome back. NI1G here, November Indy 1 Golf here, and today I'm going to show you how to program an SDR radio with the Chirp software. Chirp is the easiest software I think there is to uh, program these radios. And it will also program this, what's in the picture here is the 857 through a cat cable. But so with that, let's get to it. Alright, here's some of my Chirp software stuff. Not my Chirp software, my SDR radios. The Lexan. And then I've got the Bofang, Bofang, however you say that. VF5R. And then we got a, a vertex over here, which is a two meter only. That's a, two, that's a mono band. And then, like I said, I've got the 857. I got to get a cat cable for that. But most of these are going to come with software. And maybe the drivers are good, but the software is good. Is good for one thing: the garbage can. This here is some of the best software that I found to program these radios. You cannot screw this up usually. Now, if it needs an update, the minute you get onto it, it'll tell you there is an update, just like that. And these will come out in like a spreadsheet. Look up repeater guide, you know, in the ARRL repeater guide, whatever. Put in the um, frequency. As you go along, it'll it'll tell you, you know, plus or minus uh, this or that is what your transmit will be. You can't go wrong. It's the easiest software that I have found to program these little radios, and it works. It works. Like I said, I'll put the description of where you can get the Chirp software in the video. Now, you put a radio on here. COM3 on Windows works, no matter if it's a USB or whatever. COM3. Then you put in the um, manufacturer and the model number. Boom. Then you upload it. You know, and you can find uh, repeaters. There are, there are sites that you can find the uh, files that are somebody has already um, done you know or pre-done uh, files is what I'm trying to say here da, 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 da. so you know like I said easy software to do I'm not gonna say a caveman can do it because then the Geico caveman will, will get mad at me <laughs> but it is easy, nevertheless. Pretty easy software to do, and it also has a repeater guide in it. You can put in your city, the county you live in, what band you want. I mainly use Florida Repeater Council. It's good and it's not. There's some repeaters in there that are dead, deader than a doornail that's still in there. Or they change the PL tones. Or this, or that. I mean, you know, and some of these have even got D Star repeaters. And there are some uh, SDR radios that uh, are D Star that you can use on, on this programming software as well. Yeah, here's your, your Millis Action. Uh, not Millis Action. That's the. Uh, screen capture software I'm using for now. I don't know if I'm going to buy it or not. This is the Chirp. And if you're using Windows, the one in green, that's what you want right there. That's what you want right there. I know. I've got the watermark for action on here. My apologies. But I will put the uh, website in here of where you can download this in the description of the video before I get it out. So, okay, so that's how easy it is to program one of these if you use the 
Chirp software. I'm not great on the on these kind of videos. I usually do gaming. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you for watching. Don't like it. Give her a likes up, please. 73 see y'all. And don't be shy and please subscribe. I'll see you in another venture here.